how are you? Hi, everybody. How are you? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey. Uh, it's time to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It was so good last night. V called and said she had to be on. <laughs> but we all know that it takes uh, YouTube like a minute before they send out the notifications. And so uh, I wanted to share something with you uh, before everybody came in. So we're just, so I'm not just sitting here running a clock. You know how some people, they'll run a clock. <laughs> I, they're just sitting there. No, I want to uh, use this as an opportunity to talk to you guys. Uh, I mean, typically what I do is like when I go and they go live, uh -huh. I let it sit there and then I go to 7 Eleven and come back. And then it's <laughs> Harry is messy, 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 messy. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys and remind you what my channel is, why I do the things that I do. I'm sure every cast member on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has complained about me because they feel that I am attacking them or that I am a troll. Okay. But no, you got it all wrong. I don't like liars. Even if I wasn't, even, even if I didn't have a platform, I don't like liars. And I grew up in Southern California from San Diego to LA. Uh, it's a very different place. They put out these false narratives that people believe. They actually believe, like people think that, uh, people don't know that if you live in North Hollywood, you live in Hollywood, that's the hood. <laughs> it's not <laughs> nice. It's get like you're, are playing Russian roulette with your wife if you go to North Hollywood. We know uh, people don't understand that. They think Hollywood, everything is glad. No, yeah. people don't know that LA period is a dump. It's not a nice place. They have a nice block, like that block might be nice there with that $4 million home. But then down the street is some apartment buildings that, you know, gangbangers use for their free time. <laughs> People don't understand that Hollywood is full of illusions. Mm -hmm. They make you think that you're fat if you eat. <laughs> they do. They, it's just one big lie. So when I started doing The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I started noticing some lies. Just, you know, at first I liked it. I liked Lisa Vanderpump. And then I started noticing the double teaming and the game playing that was going on. And then for me personally, when Andy Cohen made this comment, he was talking to about Candace and Monique's fight. He says, we don't like shit like this. We don't like shit like this. We don't like when shit like this happens. Excuse me. It's a bad look for the series. It's not why we created the series. This is not meant to be the bad girls club. It's not meant to be love and hip hop. That was throwing shade at the black community. First of all, it's a bold faced lie. If anything, your worst, most thuggish franchise is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They're supposed to have the most money, but they have the most problems and they're the biggest con artists I ever seen. So I'm not uh, trying to attack you to be a troll. I'm calling out discrepancies things that don't make sense. I've had all of them try to threaten to sue me at least one time. You know, hey, Diana really got ridiculous with it, with the uh, cease and desist. Well, you had the most to hide, if you ask me. So, you know, and I'm sure Andy Cohen, you didn't make that statement to initially offend the black community or offend anybody. It, but if that's just not your world. You're a white, rich, Jewish guy. You have different problems than a black woman or African-American. But, um, and you probably don't even think about some of the things that you do or say, but here's the good news. He's been taking lessons, okay? Because yeah. when, he inter when he did the reunion, the year that Erica first got busted, he was acting like he was so scared to ask her a real question. So he did a better job last night. Who knows? He could have even seen the show because he answered a lot of my complaints. Okay. And really that's what he's supposed to do. But the best thing he did was acknowledge what happened to Garcelle was a damn shame. I don't remember the uh, exact words he said, but he said, yeah. we don't condone that. They yeah, condone, condone that kind of behavior. Yeah. What happened to Garcelle was racist, and it was 10 times worse than we thought. 
So, you know, I'm not going after your show, Andy Cohen. I mean, but I'm not going to let you lie. Or I'm, or I'm not going to let those people lie. I don't know if you're a liar or they're lying to you, but there's some lying going on. Okay. Right, right. And uh, like I said, they're 10 times worse than love and hip hop. So don't get, get that out your head that we're not as bad as the black show. Yeah, you are. You're worse. Love yep. and hip hop has never had an alleged madam on their show. Love and hip hop has not had any swindlers make up phony robberies. In my opinion, these are my opinions. You know, we never, what? The worst we do on Love and Hip Hop is pull off a wig or two over something dumb. <laughs> yeah. These are like major things here. Like mm -hmm. people not paying their taxes, people getting sued for $32 million. You know who you are. I mean, please. So uh, while you did a nice job last night in interviewing, finally, you did a good job. But, you know, you're cast is still thuggish and they tried to come for Garcelle and that's not happening. Not on my watch because well, she I'll... is the only African American on that show. And it's easy for them to double team her and do some of the things that they did in my opinion. So uh, while you did a good job, you know, there's still room for growth and I like it when you hire the criminals. Now I'm just going to call it out. You know, I mean, please love and hip hop is not a four as bad as the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They're supposed to be the riches. They're supposed to live behind the private gates. Mm -hmm. But listen, I grew up in Southern California from San Diego to LA. It's the weirdest place you want to live. Hollywood is in love with Hollywood and they get this crazy image of their head of what reality is. Like they really think the reality is all women are supposed to be a size zero. And if you eat a Twinkie, oh, <laughs> something's wrong with you like uh, uh no so and plus two there are tons of homeless people in la okay. Roa, around the corner is full of homeless people that live in tents and half of them are people under 25 people actually come to la with hopes and dreams of making it big they don't understand what they're getting into i'm here to tell you Hollywood's in love with Hollywood. It is full of problems. And if anything, they're the weirdos, the people in Hollywood. They, they don't stay married over two years. They're a bunch of nut jobs. So don't get it in your head that uh, to be rich and famous is will make you happy. It's not. And don't get it in your head that uh, just because you live in Beverly Hills and you hide your crimes that you're not a thug. Okay. So right. just wanted to do that. <laughs> just wanted to let you know. You know, right. Andy, I'll never, I know you'll never come out and say that you watch us, but we know you do. And so thank you for what you did. And then uh, you're welcome for all the advice that I'm giving you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get started. And you know how we do it. I don't want to go scene by scene. I ain't got time for that. I want to talk about the worst storyline of the night, and that's Diana Jenkins. Mm -mm. First of all, let's start with what I think is the major lie, is you didn't come because you had COVID. Okay. <laughs> now, unfortunately for you, Diana, I've had COVID before. Do you guys remember when I had COVID and Perry had to run my show and I couldn't breathe? I couldn't get out of bed? And you couldn't get up and put your makeup on? <laughs> I couldn't put on my makeup. I couldn't even sit up straight. So maybe, Diana, you have a different kind of COVID. She got Beverly Hills COVID. <laughs> because I don't know how you get to get up there and continue spewing your nonsense. Yeah. Girl, stop. If you, V, ask me if I believe Diana had COVID. <laughs> so I can give my opinion. Terrell, do you think Diana had COVID? <laughs> Diana is a bold faced liar. Girl, stop. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? You are always lying, Diana. Stop lying, please. <laughs> okay, so last night, uh, they really, so she thought it would be better if she lied and say she has COVID and she came there looking like she just stepped out of a, a glamorous magazine, maybe room 23, I'm just yeah. saying. Uh, and so... Andy asked her every question that there was. Let's start with the question. Have you heard the rumors that you're a, a madam and are the rumors true? 
Oh, I thought you were raising your hand. You no. Listen, Diana, those rumors came from somewhere, okay? He asked you, did you know Jeffrey Epstein? There's a picture roaming the internet of you and Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump. Now, we're supposed to think that that's somebody else that just looks like you? <laughs> Please, she said it's virtually impossible because during that time in her life, she was a refugee. Where at? In, 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 in Beverly Hills? <laughs> it's impossible? Because yeah. you're a refugee? And then he asked her about the room book Room 23 because that's allegedly a book of all her clients. She mm -hmm. said, that's not true. It's not a book of all of her clients. In fact, it's a beautiful book that brought a lot of people, did a lot of good for a lot of people. What? Yeah, really? It made them feel good. I'm yeah. a person. It didn't help me. <laughs> Go ahead, Perry. Oh, Sorry. She's talking about the clients. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had an enjoyable time. <laughs> I mean, that's what she had to talk about. Okay, girl, stop. You mean to tell me before you, in my opinion, uh, Use that app and clear it up your uh, social media because you guys know that there is an app that you can go through and scrub the internet of things that you don't want, even if it's written by someone else. It you feels like know. you scrub the internet. I mean, thank God I printed out the articles that I did because when I go back to look for these articles, they're nowhere to be found. But why are there so many articles out there before you scrub the internet about you being a madam? Just what, I mean, no one's ever said, you know what, Sherelle? You look like a madam. No, I, no. Has anybody ever called you a, a madam V? No, not that I know of. <laughs> Have you ever got accused, Perry, of being a pimp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is specific. <laughs> like, girl, stop. And your answer is it's virtually impossible because during that time, I was in the uh, refugee. Yeah, right. I think you got so seven. Wasn't she like 20? I don't you know how I know I seen a pet picture with you and Jeffrey Epstein and Donald Trump. Now, now she's saying that that wasn't her. That that somebody was, look, that, I, that's her evil twin. <laughs> like, girl, stop. I have people from all over the world on this blog. Um, I know met a lot of people. I've never met anyone who looks exactly like me. You might resemble and then you can point out, oh, you'll say that. She looks like her, but you can always tell, no, oh, that's her. That's not her. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, girl, Perry, can you play these? Can you play? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? <laughs> Diana, and you guys jump in when you guys have something to say, because I'm just going to go down the list. Girl, stop lying, okay? I mean, yeah. and another thing, another thing that makes me think it's you. The way that you went after bloggers, if they mentioned the rumor. Yeah. yeah. Why would you be so concerned like that? <laughs> no, like that. I can't just mention that Perry's wearing a red shirt, even though he's not. And I'm going to fall to pieces. Yeah. Well, we I know that stop. stuff. I mean, she get really touched and, uh, and emotional about it. It could be one single uh, repeat, like a tweet or something like mm -hmm. Philly mm -hmm. Diva did. Now, if somebody yeah. repeats something or, you know, repost or whatever, whatever they call it. Repost. But you focus on the one. One little simple thing. It's all this other. But all these rumors have been going around, around about you for years. And there's but evidence one, to prove that. TMZ printed the evidence. The that ones the rumors came out about you in 2012. Mm -hmm. Then when bloggers come in that talked about what people have been talking about for the last 20 years, since the refugee days. You know what I'm saying? Now she loses her wig. Uh huh. And then now she can't pronounce cease and desist. <laughs> she can't pronounce it. <laughs> See, isn't it amazing how her voice comes through? Uh huh. When she's uh -huh. sitting there going back and forth with Sutton. Uh huh. Her English is fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she go back to, you know, like she, I don't know, I don't want to say no third world country, but somewhere where she, don't know, but I'm just what saying. What I have to do is like that's impossible for me to be mad them because me was refugee back then, and uh -huh. her her accent gets really bad when she when you ask her something she doesn't want to answer, and then she'll be like, "Me no understand." Yeah, you understand, girl. Does she stop. understand. Yeah, she understand yeah. clearly. 
They even asked her, why did she lick her lips all the time? <laughs> he did ask her that. He did ask her that. But he I didn't did. hear what her, I didn't hear what her answer was. What was she her said answer? it's a it's a nervous condition. A nervous t uh, twitch, tick, oh. tick, nervous tick. Oh. I mean, but you know where we heard it's from. What? I can't oh. say it because she'll really get mad. You don't oh. like if you do this all the time. Have you seen people do that? Yeah. Oh, you really? know what's wrong with them? I, I, you don't I know what's wrong with them? Okay. <laughs> I, I just thought it was a previous career she had or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's you haven't seen people that twitch. Yeah, or scratch. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I yeah. do. Have you seen yeah. people scratch all the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You never seen that V? Yeah, I'm saying yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we know. We know. I mean, I don't know why you twitch, but it could be some serious reasons why you twitch. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just thought she had extra dry lips. Maybe she they get nervous. Her... Maybe maybe she get nervous right before she lied. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, before. I don't know. I could, no, I, <laughs> that couldn't be me when I was I was a refugee at the time. Yeah. That ain't her licking her lips. She was a refugee. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, but I'm glad that Andy asked her that. Like I said, Andy, you did a very good job last night because everybody's talking about this. It makes no sense for you not to address it. So I'm glad that you were addressing he did pretty every good. He little thing. He could have asked her more questions, though. Like what? He did, like, you he know, got, he got all the major points, Perry. He did. Huh? He did. he went. He asked all the major questions. Well, though. yeah, I know. He I just yeah, job. I just feel like he could have did a little bit more on uh Diana. He I no, mean, he did really did. good on Diana. Yeah. He asked her about Philly Diva, the black con uh, content creator that she was talking about. This got really really good because. Last night, she gave us our, her third explanation because <laughs> the first time she said that she didn't mean she, she was talking. She thought that black content creator was the name of Philly Diva's blog. Remember that? Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, she said that. She said, I thought it was the name of the blog, <laughs> even though the no word on the whole page said black content creator. So, you know, she was the first one to mention that she thought it was a blog. Um, then she said something that uh, it was a language barrier. Do you guys remember that one? Yeah. It was a language barrier. So last night she came with her third excuse. Uh, she said that. Uh, it. Oh, she didn't know it meant bad, something bad. She thought that it was a, a dark like um a what dark she web. Write it a down, dark huh? web a dark web like meaning it's like a a dark thing that you might you know what i mean something that's bad but uh like a, a like a slang like that mm -hmm. okay i hope that makes sense cuz i didn't well, write down her exact words she said it to me i was like a dark web what the hell is that it was that's just a, another is another excuse whenever it's called just another excuse just dumb it it's down another and excuse. Lie. uh but then crystal called her out Crystal called her out. Crystal said that when she heard what was going on, first she put her on blast by responding on social media, but then she called her. And when she called her, Diana said to her, you believe there are black, she can't believe that there are black content creators out there trolling them, saying bad things about the cast. You knew exactly oh, what you were no. talking about. Yeah. Girl, I mean, why are you always lying? Okay, <laughs> Crystal put you on blast. And let me tell you why she put you on blast. You have crossed the line. No one wants to be known on that show as a racist. Nope. You might want to be a person that don't pay your taxes. That's okay. Or get sued <laughs> all the time. Or steal from orphans and crash victims. But no mm -hmm. one wants to be known as a racist. No. So Crystal really put you on blast. <sighs> How did Crystal defend Diana? Let me know, mm -hmm. Shade. Okay. Uh, so there you go again. She could not explain her behavior. Her behavior was just atrocious. Um, then they asked her, was she trying to make Erica look bad by donating, allegedly? And I don't think she still <laughs> donated yet. Donated. She said she, said she had. I've donated. She I've said that before, uh, V. When, oh, yeah, I know. Uh, I know what you're saying. 
Mm-hmm. You don't know if the money has really been transferred over. Right, right. because why right. Why would you donate to them in, uh, what's his name, Jay, Jay Eggleston, the attorney came out and said they were already paid. <laughs> yeah. So, why, why do you keep giving the money if they're already paid? I'm yeah. just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Someone said uh, she pledged the money. Yeah, she pledged that she was going to give them money. But we haven't seen any evidence that you already gave it to them. I'm not being mean to you. I'm just calling out inconsistencies. Jay right. Edelson said they already had their money. <laughs> so, like, why do you keep paying them? Make it make sense, people. And if, make she it didn't make show up, sense. if she didn't show up to the reunion, she probably ain't going to show up to that deposit box neither. <laughs> Bank. I mean, you think about it. Bank. <laughs> you pledge money to for the hopes of staying on a show, and yeah. you know you gone. That's what she ain't show up to the reunion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that deposit may not never be made. Never, okay, people. Never. Someone said she was tweaking. Somebody mm-hmm. said that in the chat. Y'all stop. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. But all of that was bad because she couldn't clear up all the questions that Andy was asking her. But what was even more deplorable is Garcelle admitted that she was sending her text messages, really bullying her. Okay, let's put up some of these text messages. Like, I don't think anyone knew before last night that she was putting up these things about going after Garcelle. This one says, dear Garcelle, and she tried, like, oh my God. Every time she throws shade, she acts like she doesn't know it's shade. She doesn't know where it came from. And maybe in her country, (laughs) it's a nice thing. But only here, it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Stop lying. You know exactly what you're doing. She says, dear Garcelle, next time you go on national television, why don't you educate viewers on how many times I went to Haiti, your home country? She's sending these, uh, doing these things, making Garcelle feel targeted. She says, you are you are all actually with her mocking my spelling publicly from that message. Neither of them could find something else to bully me. She, <laughs> she thinks she's the bully. She, <laughs> she thinks, thinks she's being bully. bullied. Yeah. Yeah. What you did to uh, Philly Diva was the worst kind of bullying there ever was. Yep. What you're doing to Garcelle, girl, stop. She says, neither of them could find something else to bully me on, but my spelling, my accent, and my miscarriage. I'm telling you, every time she gets caught doing something bad, she blames it on her not being from America. I'm not surprised. They are fan favorites for a reason, right? It's fan base that's worrisome. Okay. Mm -hmm. She just kept going after Garcelle. But what even got worse is when Garcelle, let me close this, informed us of how bad the text messages were. Oh, my God. Do you remember this, V? To her son, Jax. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that made me, that that really pissed me off. That really pissed me off. Who does that to a child? Who does that? Matters. You don't know who I am if you think I would do that to a child. We, I yeah. guess we don't know who you are. Yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> you did that to a child. You know. Who does that to a child? I do believe Diana and Lisa Renna were involved. I believe what Patrick Summer said. I'm going to go, that- go one step more mm-hmm. because of the way they looked so guilty. They couldn't even look at to the camera. Yeah. Lisa did Renna you notice that? Did you notice that? Lisa Renna and Erica. If they didn't do, do it, they knew about it. They knew mm-hmm. she was gonna do it uh-huh. because they couldn't even look into the camera. You should see their the guilt look on both both of their faces when that subject came up. They, they were looking all over the place, everywhere but in the camera. <laughs> it was really sick and disgusting. And they also said, Garcia said that they sent pictures of her in Playboy to her son. To her son, yeah. They sent n- naked pictures of someone's mom. They sent naked pictures of his mom. Yeah, that's who more than does that's that? beyond evil. That's beyond evil. You know, there's evil and then there's beyond evil. They beyond evil. You I know? mean, are you going to say you didn't know about that either, Diana? Like, please, the please writers right all me. over the wall that you and Lorena are guilty as hell. That's yep. crossing the line. Not to mention the racist things you sent to him. 
uh, what was one of them said if your dad wasn't white we would have our knee on your neck ne- yeah what yep. yeah well, yeah to a child that sound that sound to me like a lisa renner thing that i mean she might yeah. have told diana to say that diana don't know enough to say that well, she probably know enough, but she didn't. It she sounds didn't like it. to me something that a bot would do, a troll farm, if you hired them and right. you say I say the most disgusting things. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. And you were with it. You were down. Either you paid for it. You knew what was going on. I think you, Erica and Lisa are guilty as hell. And that's my opinion. <laughs> I yeah. believe that too. Yeah, I, I looked at both of them. I was looking at both of them when they were bringing it up, and they were looking all around, yeah, around, mm-hmm. over the top. You know, they was doing anything but looking in the camera. Mm-hmm. You no, know, I mean Andy you, Cohen. Do you still think you're better than Love and Hip Hop when you hire these thugs to <laughs> harass children? Yeah, that's what Diana is. She's a thug. That's what Erica is. She's a thug. A fake gangster, you know. I'm oh. I'm from Atlanta. We don't do that. You girl, shut up. Stop. That's what Lisa Renner. These thugs harassing a African American child. Child. Now child. let's say the tables were turned, and I went after Diana's child because she was white. It would be despicable, and people will be asking for me to be fired. Just yep. that, and so that's the reason why we're saying you need to go. You need yep. to go. You're the lowest of the low. I agree. But it gets worse than that. What gets worse than sending a child a picture of their mother's Playboy pictures? What gets worse than that? When you actually bully the mom. Let me read this really quick. Rena, Diana, and Crystal fired. Yeah, exactly. What y'all think? I think Denise is returning. I think that's great. I want the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills to go back to the day where LVP, the days when LVP was on the show and she was just naturally a classy woman. You wouldn't see her sending naked pictures, nudes to a child. Go ahead, Perry. I cut you off. Go ahead. They oh, yeah. No. Like I would just saying that, yeah, these three really truly need to be probably fired. Benna, like- everybody know why. Diana, everybody know why. Crystal, too. I'm not going to let her off the thing, neither. Because Wendy did ask her a hard questions, and then she'll go with the Michael Jackson thing. Then, but I, this is what I think would happen with Crystal a little bit. She wanted to be with the Mean Girls. Well, let me get to Crystal. Let okay, me finish. Go okay, this okay, in a go ahead. Uh, I agree, but it gets worse than this. What gets worse is when she will try to harass and bully. Uh, Garcelle into taking down any evidence that she was involved. Yeah. <laughs> and Take her. The, the Take troll her farm messed up when they included her name in the negative comments. It and says it was, you, it, was, it was Garcelle's responsibility to take that out of there so that <laughs> no guilt would be, would be would fall on her. It's so ridiculous. She realized that the troll farm messed up or the bots, you know, the bots, because you can uh-huh. just program it to do what they're going to do. And they put her name in it. Instead of putting the purchaser, Diana, they accidentally included her name, in my opinion, in the uh, retaliation tweets. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. uh, this is a horrible tweet that was sent to her son. You've had your neck knee. You've had your neck kneeled on if it weren't for your white daddy. Oh, this is disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Tell your mom to leave Diana. They don't mention Lisa Renna. They don't mention Sudden. They don't mention Cherie or Crystal. Diana, uh-huh. leave Diana alone, or you'll deal with us. Yeah. Stop First the press. All, Stop the press. Take Diana's name out. Uh-huh. Mm. She so she asked herself to take her name out. You should not do that. You should take my name out because people are sending threats to my family. That's mm-hmm. a lie. I don't believe that at all. And why is it Garcelle's responsibility to remove your name from the crime scene? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> why why do I have to remove your name? Because someone and was then... murdered. Someone was murdered in their family. Murdered. <laughs> murdered. Real murder. Yeah. And 
that's just so stupid. We're supposed to say, oh, you know what, Darcel? Shame on you. Somebody was murdered in her family. Forgive, just, forgive, we forgive her because someone hey, was murdered. <laughs> you think you're the only person that had someone murdered in your family? Don't get Sherelle started going down the list of people that have been <laughs> murdered in my family. If she had somebody murdered in her family, she might have, but who knows if, that if it was related to this situation or not. Yeah. Right, you know, exactly. It has nothing to do with this troll farm, with this yeah. sick campaign you and Rena got going. I feel that you're going to get fired and deservingly so. <laughs> you cry. Kids are off limits. Kids are off limits. Racism is off limits. That's why I was glad when uh, Andy acknowledged, finally, Bravo came out and said, we don't condone this pitiful behavior. Yeah, yeah. And oh my gosh, she's just the worst of the worst. Uh, I'm glad she's gone. I feel so bad that I'm going to apologize to Jax because no child should have to deal with this. And then stupid Kyle. See, there's people just think I'm mean to Kyle. And uh, all the delusional people in Hollywood could say, Kyle, like, uh, <laughs> what was it in Carlos King? Kyle is the queen of that show. No. Kyle is the biggest hypocrite in the bunch. Did you right, see right. her join Diana and said, why didn't you just take it down and scribble the name out? Mm -hmm. Nobody oh, was talking to you, Kyle. I, I When she did that, I, first I said, we always thought you were dumb. Okay. <laughs> but you just went to a new level of dumbness. Right, right now. Yeah. A new level. One that ain't nobody else been on before. To you, all the stuff you could stand up for at that in that show, yeah, all the things yeah. you could have said to help mm -hmm. other people, you sit there like a dummy, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, when somebody's attacking someone else's child, you think that you got a bright idea. Why didn't you just scribble the name out? Uh huh. Now have several seats. Yep. Several. Like I'm really supposed to protect you from attacking my child? Like not only do I believe all of the rumors. Also, you're a full blown idiot, Diana, right. Lisa, and Erica, and uh, Kyle. Kyle is the worst kind of idiot. She's a whip. Yep, a coward. But that just no, shows who you are. Go ahead, Perry. Oh, yeah. You know, this is the biggest thing with it. Nobody was talking to Kyle. <laughs> Set your ass down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Set the hell down because you mm -hmm. know what? Nobody's talking to you. And if you wanted a moment during the season, you had a lot of moments. But you let him go by, past when you should, yeah. should have said something. When you could have stood up and said something. Right. Why is she finding the need to back this group? Or do you, did she just wanted to get off that subject about the bots? Mm -hmm. Because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Because she's in on it too. That's, uh, I'm just saying, she, she probably somewhere, uh, you know, she probably didn't put no money towards it, but knew about but it. But she knew. I think she right. knew. Mm-hmm. She knew. Uh, Ajit says, my name come up. Did you notice how scared Kyle was when Garcelle turned towards her and yelled? That's what you were talking about, V. You said they yeah. had a guilty look on their face. Yeah, yeah. It was all looking like <laughs> how how low these people are. And then you you put these people on television, Andy Cohen, <laughs> and then you expect us not to call them out on their lies uh -huh. and their terrible behavior. Like, really? I can see them now. There's a black content creator named Sherelle, and she said this about me, and she said this about me. She's calling out your lies, and there's nothing you can do about it. And they're really weird. This is what I think they've got going on. So I think they all complain to Andy about me. She said this. She said that. Don't worry about it. She's not accredited. You know, don't, you know, we're not going to do her. So, but they found a yes man. I mean, they found a person that will do their dirty work. Uh, another blog that will be their yes man, you, you know, their Uncle Tom. <laughs> That's what they do. But you know, listen, you're not going to make me an Uncle Tom. I say what I say and I point out the obvious and I have a duty to tell the truth. Especially when you made that comment. You want to act like the black shows are so beneath you and so low and you are you know, what did he say? This It was created to show the opulence. No, listen, those are a bunch of thugs <laughs> over there. And just, it is what it is. And I'm going to keep calling you out. You shouldn't have never said that you were better than Love and Hip Hop. That's a slap in the face to Mona Scott. Slap in the face. Anyway. Um, uh, 
Angela Cass, her donation. Erica tried to act like Diana didn't throw her under the bus and start worrying about her own reputation when she made the donation. Uh-huh. <laughs> Erica said, no, I'm glad that she did. Somebody had to do something. Oh, Erica, mm -hmm. Erica, Erica. Let's talk about Dorit. Okay, I want to talk about Dorit. I don't have a problem with you, Dorit. You are just a, well, how would, how would everyone say it? A, a non MF factor on the show? You're not, you don't <laughs> add to the show. You don't take away from the show. You're just right. there. You're, right. you're the wingman. And everybody can't act ridiculous like Diana or uh, Lisa. So we do need calm people on the show. Yeah. With that being said, we had to talk about the robbery again. And as soon again. as we talk about the robbery, without fail, it always comes off the tearless tears. The hey, tearless I took, tears. <laughs> I took a picture, so I made sure that I wasn't seeing things, okay? <laughs> you always do the tearless. Look how dry her face is. Uh huh. Let me zoom in. Look at the tearless tears. <laughs> no eyeliner dripping, mascara dripping. Now, I like you, Dorit. I don't have anything against you or PK, even though PK threatened to sue me. I don't have anything against you guys. I think you're great for the show. I think yeah. PK's funnier than you and has more, you know, to offer yeah, than you. They but add to the show. Yeah, yeah, add. yeah. You add to the show. I mean, that was, real, that was a real good drama, the, the robbery. So they added a lot that year. To they the added show. a lot. And that was your storyline. I get it. You know, you you need a storyline to stay on the show, but don't pee on my leg and tell me that it's raining. Right. Okay. Every time we talk about the robbery, you do the tearless tears. I don't see <laughs> one drop of tears, and I know what a tear, what crying looks like. You have mascara smudged all over your face. There's water, and yeah, your nose lines, turns red. Lines running down. With the tears. <laughs> There's lines going down your face. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, this this is a tearless cry, okay? And then you wipe up the tear, the dry eyes that's already dry. Okay, yeah, okay. Like she just powdering her face or something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to go in on you. I'm not going to know you because you're returning to the show and I don't want everyone to think I'm bullying you. Do I believe your robbery story after all this time? Hell no. <laughs> Too many flaws. Oh, Andy Cohen even asked them, why did the burglar leave you a phone number to go turn them in after the robbery? <laughs> I had to call my husband. I didn't know that was the magic word next time I get right here. I have to call my husband. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So don't forget to leave my phone right by the gate. Yeah. <laughs> what robber leaves you a cell phone so you can go turn him in? <laughs> you can call your husband and he can come and call the police on him. Like, <laughs> nobody ever been caught still. You know what? She might have had something going. There's a lot of people that might have believed her until Me. she threw that in as extra credit. The, until but, she threw in the, uh, the robber. <laughs> Please leave my phone at the door. D, in uh, my opinion, I think it's people who still believe it. No. You think something? Listen. Yeah, it's no, not no, even no. Worth I know. Arguing about not Perry. Perry don't. Well, I'm saying uh, uh, there might be people that's gullible enough and and believe the story. But what do they say about? Please leave my phone so I can call my husband. <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, I'll leave it at the gate. Okay, on on my way out with your stuff, I'll leave your phone at the gate so you can have a way to call your husband." <laughs> Yeah, but then they it's that, just a cockamamie story. But, I don't believe it, Dorit. Now, just because I don't believe it doesn't mean I want you off the show, doesn't mean I'm gonna drag you, but I'm going to call out the obvious. Every time we mention the robbery, <laughs> you do the tearless cry. And and Andy, Andy has heard it enough times that she said, Am I boring you? <laughs> yeah. Andy was falling asleep on the, on yeah. the tearless cry. I mean, I mean, and that's the point she get to because her storyline. To me, it was a lot of comedy at first, but now I'm just tired of it. I'm tired and of it. Then, but no, okay, it's hmm? probably one of the worst storylines you could have came up with because it just doesn't make sense. But right. because uh, Kyle doesn't want to be outdone, <laughs> <laughs> she thinks of a more ridiculous story. Kyle wants us to believe that her robbers called her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I forgot. 
Cows not gonna be all good. They, they the your the robbers called you dog. and they wanted you to buy robbers. back the stuff that he stole from you, and you did it. And you, and you sent him a check. <laughs> you sent him a check to buy your stuff back. Kyle, stop being dumber than dumb. Kyle, see, they, they think I'm picking on them. You didn't call the police. No, she sent him a check. Yeah, you got I mean, your stuff in my grandma's attic. Uh huh. She is just so full. Hey, you got your stuff in my grandma's attic. You can buy it back. Uh huh. How much? How much? Just tell me. <laughs> Give me the money. I don't know. it. <laughs> Touch with you, Kyle, and they wanted to give you an opportunity to buy your stuff back. What before they took it to the pawn shop? I'm yeah. confused. The read is not gonna outdo me in the robbery. I'm gonna. They left the read's phone. They're gonna leave my whole my whole thing that they stole from me. No, you will not. And outdo then they get me mad at me. me when I call it out. But how would they mad how would... because who who's who, who, who robbers call them? You got right. your phone number. Hey, by the way, it's at my grandma's house, I saved all the stuff I stole from you. We didn't get rid of it. We saved it at grandma's house. <laughs> Are these robbers the cousins of the people that broke into Reed's house that left her the cell phone? They, it makes cousins. no they, sense. They're cousins. They're cousins. They they're might be because neither one of them been caught yet. But could you imagine how that phone call went to Cal's sister? How, how did it go? Oh, ring. <laughs> Hello. Cal's sister. <laughs> oh, uh, who is this? Uh, this is the guy that was just in your sister's yeah, you house didn't last say who week. It and, uh, is. What's the name? Stole all her shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. How can I help you? <laughs> um, I just wanted to know if she was interested in purchasing uh, the stuff I stole back from her. Oh yeah. Um, no, 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 Perry, Perry. They said they said they'll give her a discount. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me oh. a moment. Uh, let me call her. I'm sure she'd be very happy to hear from you. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Discount. <laughs> she said how much okay well she's gonna go oh, ahead and uh cash up oh you God. some of the money some of the money yeah cash up you some of the money <laughs> it's, it's, it's in my grandma's it's in my grandma's uh, basement grandma didn't notice us coming in with the whole bunch of stuff grandma was asleep but it's in grandma's house it's at my grandma's house it's oh safe secure for you to buy it back Nobody was talking about Kyle. Doree no. was tripping over her own words, doing the tearless cry, and Kyle just volunteers. Well, my story's worse than that. Yeah. My burglar called me and gave me a discount on my that clothes back. Her. Yeah, she loved attention so much. Oh my god, was... she probably mad at Andy because Andy or whoever gave um <laughs> gave old girl that storyline of the fake robbery, right? Yeah, and so she upset, and then now. Dorit is getting credit to be this I had, trauma. I had my robbery first, and then you're going to let Dorit take all the attention. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? Grandma has my stuff. Yeah. Granny! <laughs> How much, oh. Granny? That's her storyline for oh next year. Oh, my God. Recouping oh, her stuff. She's going to be recouping her stuff. Oh, She's going to be receiving year. packages of her child. stuff back every day. Yeah. yeah. These grandma, grandma can notice a whole bunch of stuff leaving the house. Just a few things at a time. Thank you, Marissa, <laughs> for the super chat. Oh, my God. David, you have to agree. They are some thugs and Ky and liars. At the very least, they are liars. Kyle <laughs> is trying to one-up Doree on a stupid storyline of the robbery. And she's going to take it a step further and said that her robbers contacted her and offered her to pay the stuff back. You don't call the FBI. You don't no. call the cops. No. What? No. You write you call a Granny's check. House. You call Granny. Then, house. No, she's gonna give him a check, but then the robber called it off because this might be suspicious. <laughs> she said she paid half of it. No, she, then she says really she quietly she under said, her I paid breath. Some, and then they go, "Well, did you finish off the transaction?" Oh, he was alerted once I paid him some cash, <laughs> and he decided that I'm gonna call the cops. You know, come on now. I mean, Cal is pathetic. Cal, Cal's pathetic. Cal. Cal's pathetic. Kyle mm -hmm. don't know when she being stupid. Kyle's so stupid she don't know she don't know when she being stupid. She's so like, stupid. But listen, didn't Garcelle handing her, handle herself like a queen last night? Yes, yeah, she she sure did. 
She yeah, didn't maybe. let the women out of their cockamamie stories. She told the truth. Andy said, do you feel like the whoever was that somebody in this group was targeting Jax? She said, yes. Um, yeah. She just stood in her truth, told her story, and did not let them bully her. Yeah. And she did it all in a classy way. And that's what they used to do in bullying, especially at the reunion. They all side with, with huh. each other and bully one person at the reunion. And she handled herself so good till Andy Cohen has to give her credit. She's not acting like love and hip hop. That's your precious Lisa and that little Diana and Kyle. They were acting like pure lying thugs last night. Mm -hmm. And Garcelle came through. She was very poised and she stood in her truth. She didn't cry or try to get them to or get tripped up in her words like Crystal. We got to talk about Crystal. Let me read this right really quick. Kyle fell the, for the Nigerian print scam. She really, I wouldn't blame yeah. her. My direct office is next door to mine. What? My director. Office. My direct director office is next door to mine. She just came over and asked, what am I laughing at so hard? Y'all no. kill me because. <laughs> I'm not uh, making you laugh. That is Kyle and and uh the read with them lies, those lies. Storylines. And um, what is I gonna say? Oh, uh, she didn't get tripped up in her words. Let's talk about how they grilled the hell out of uh Crystal, Crystal and how we might need her on the show, but then maybe not. Yeah. I mean, should you get fired? For being she a can get fired, but she needs to get in the background a little bit. Maybe be a friend. She's already in the background. They wanted to, they kept grilling her about exaggerating about Sutton and leading mm -hmm. them to believe that Sutton might have said some racist things. It was very dumb. She did. She's make she made a big deal out of it. You got caught in the lie. Yeah. You're not the uh the dummies aren't the only one that's lie. You got yeah. caught in a lie too, Crystal. But that's not the how you handle it when you get caught Cheryl, in a lie. Cheryl, who is Crystal scared of? Is she scared of them or is she scared of the storyline? I mean, the story. Uh, Crystal's scared of somebody because she's crying too. Yeah, yeah. I think she's scared of not fitting in. Right. Yeah. So if, she, if you say she did something and it looks like the crowd is against her, the mean girls, then she gets flustered. Right. But you did lie. You mm -hmm. lied. Just say, yeah, or I got caught up, or <clears throat> think of a better lie. Because a lot of liars tell a lie on top of that lie on top. That why didn't you just start telling lie, a whole bunch of lies that tell you know that we got confused? <laughs> but right now, your long pauses. The uh, tears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody, when they don't know what to say, bust out in tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah like, on, Crystal, stop. I'm trying to hold you down. I'm not going to uh, judge you if you say I lied or maybe think of another lie so I don't think in my head, why is she lying? But mm -hmm. I'm getting tired of you not, not knowing how to handle yourself, okay? Yeah. You don't go after anyone. You let them run all over you. I mean, if you felt violated when What's-the-Name opened the door last year, you should have stood in your truth. You got to mm -hmm. get in someone's face. You got to say, I felt violated. Mm -hmm. You got to act like you matter. You act like you don't matter. I and felt violated, maybe, I think. Yeah. No, I I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, all, you're always second guessing yourself. And, you know, even when Andy Cohen, I was so glad he asked this. Why was Michael Jackson problematic? Her answer should have been, too. because I follow the crowd and the women that I hang with think that Michael Jackson, they believe the the lie that was put out there, even though he was... Um, never found guilty. Never found guilty. Yeah. Just say it. But no. she goes, uh, well, I kind of find him like, oh my God, stop. Just stop. She like said somebody, that. She like somebody told her to say... That's problematic. Oh, and that's what she's sticking to. I, I don't know anything, <laughs> but it's problematic. Well, I think Lori has it on. Crystal needs to be her own person. You listen, Crystal. I've told you this a million times. If you don't stand up for you, no one else will. And that was the perfect example of what we seen last night. You're tripping over your own words. You told a lie. So what? They all these women lie. 
Every <laughs> single one of them, except Garcelle and maybe Sutton. Well, Sutton, you know, so everybody lies. Just own it, okay? This is ridiculous. Right. What else did we have to talk about here? Uh, how they grilled Crystal. Um, also, I don't want her fired, but I have to give you a list of reasons if you wanted to. <laughs> 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 I listen, the bulimia is too heavy. It's too personal. Um, I know Jackie from the Real Housewives of New Jersey talked about it, but when you mention it around Crystal, who who brought it up first, she breaks into tears and it's like she can't handle it. And so mm -hmm. this is too raw for you. It sounds like you're still doing it, and I just don't think you sh you're vulnerable. And you don't need these really vultures around you. I just what what v, v do you feel sorry for Crystal? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I don't have one bone in my body to feel sorry for her. You didn't mean it that way, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't be so damn wishy washy and, and wanting to please everybody and wanting everybody to like you that you can't draw a line and stand up for yourself. I cannot stand wimpy people. I just can't. I can't. <laughs> Do you think after time, if we let her on the show, it, one more, if they brought her back one more season, the, the chat is going fast. Oh my God. If Do they bring if, her back one more season, I, I, I'm going to be hard pressed to watch it again. Well, you, wait, Do you think they brought her back one more season that she would de develop some kind of strength? Oh, Crystal? Maybe they thought, yeah. Don't you care? Maybe they thought that bringing her back one more time, she would uh, get some kind of self esteem and and stop letting people roll over the top of her. But uh, <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. But lots of things uh, that. Cece says, I think Kyle, we, Dorit, and P as store got their robbers off Craigslist. Craigslist maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Sure, I mean, yeah. my goodness. They, they related the robbers. <laughs> Uh, Sudden needs to pass her awkward with her words award to Crystal. Yeah, Crystal needs to learn how to stand up for herself. It's mm -hmm. very hard to watch. Uh, yeah. What else do I think I covered it all? Oh, hold on, to AJ. Jamie hey, Lee Curtis. Hey. Oh okay. yes, Jamie Lee Curtis, icon. We, we no. Yeah, but I don't know. She only her ass on this show. I wasn't too thrilled. I mean. It was She's an older time. woman. The younger audience probably don't know who she is. Why did we have yeah. to bring her on the show? Waste of time. <laughs> yeah, waste of time. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't know who you are, but you seem very nice. I think yeah. they could have brought her on, though. I mean, after, you know, reflecting on it. A, it's the oh, show that Cal, Do you not remember her from uh, Trading Places? Do you remember Trading Places? With, with Eddie, Eddie Murphy? Murphy? Yeah. yeah, she was on that movie. That's Jamie her? Lee Curtis. That's yeah. her. She's and her lovely. dad is the and her dad is the icon actor. Um, what's it? Kurt, Tony what's Curtis. His name? Tony yeah. Curtis from the fifties. Tony right? Curtis. I know your yeah. dad. That was that girl on um. Yeah, that's the hooker. Are you sure? Yes, that's Jamie Lee Curtis. Why does she mm -hmm. look so different? She's got a <laughs> color in her hair. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love that movie. Yeah. Me too. All right. Uh, like let's start with you, AJ. Oh, Sound off yes. about last night. Well, last night was actually a really good episode, it but was. I and they all looked horrible. <laughs> I gotta say, um, you know, Lisa Renner, she looked like Scar from like The Lion King. She looked awful. Um, she just didn't. And also, Garcelle, that dress all black looked like a dominatrix with those leather <laughs> boots, oh it's, and that ponytail. And then you've got like Dorit look like a cracked out Rapunzel <laughs> without a hair bundle. It just didn't look good. And the blue dress is Saint Laurent, which is like um, uh, very trendy now. That color is uh -huh. called, uh, I think it's called marine blue. That is very in. Everyone is doing that color, Balenciaga and everyone. Um, but she looked awful. And, um, you know, it was just, and Diana, Diana, why did you wear green? Green. And she's blonde. It just that she looked like, oh my God, she looked like, I don't even know what she looked. She didn't even look normal. It was just, she should not have been on there. And she didn't look like somebody who had COVID-19. She did not look um, like she had COVID. That was, no. in my opinion, uh, uh, it's the damn lie. Diana, stop. 
It could I have been. swear to God, and I'm not making this. Those of you that follow me, when I had COVID, I couldn't stand up. I couldn't yeah, breathe. Me too. I was on a breathing monitor. Well, she oh said, I can't call in and just say, I don't feel good. Because Andy going to say, well, that's okay. Come anyway. So she had to think of the sickest thing she could be without dying. It wasn't COVID, oh. though. It was cowardly 19. Yeah, you had Coward 19. What oh, my God. Look at her. Like she looked like, um, doesn't she look like um, the Beast from the Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> <laughs> like the hairdo and the like the makeup and it's just she looks so plastic it's Thank awful you. and then she wore a cross as if she's holy <laughs> come on girl, girl and you at are one, like point, next one, point, one point i seen her try to smile but her face is so botoxed out that she she's can't demonic. even smile yeah, yes. I mean, my gosh, she looks I, so demonic. Her eyes, like her eye makeup, is you don't very think dark, she looks like, better in with the hair extensions or the wig, whatever she's wearing, than her regular hair? Yeah, well, I'm glad she didn't she's have trying, it. she's trying, but um, she does look, I mean, she's not an ugly, she's a beautiful woman, but yeah, yeah she should really stick to her look. Yeah, she looks better. Okay, I mean, AJ, not, what did you I'm think last night about finding out how, uh, how should I put this, how, what uh, Garcelle was really going through with these bullies, then sending yeah. the Playboy pictures to her son? What were your thoughts? Yeah, that was absolutely disgusting. I was shocked by that. And she got outed as well, because the way she was answering the questions, it was very, like, telling. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, she everyone knows that she does that and she everyone is afraid of her nobody's saying anything on that couch it's because she's probably blackmailing them she had something on everyone including Maybe. elton john i mean yeah. lisa was in the book in room yes. 23 she was in the book yes so she was Maybe. in the book and also um all these hollywood actresses as well she has something on them she's just i don't know there's something about it she won't be back she, yeah, I don't think she'll be back. So Emmanuel, we won't know anything. She'll disappear and we'll forget about her. I this hope is so. Emmanuel, happen. why did they choose to go after a 14-year-old? Well, first of all, hey, hey, V, how are you? How's everyone? Hey. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I hey. don't know. Look, when Andy Cohen came out and said that about love and hip-hop, I was really upset because, okay, yeah, maybe they get into it, they throw hands, but the women in Beverly Hills, the bullies are some of the most disgusting, really low are. down people, mm -hmm. much worse than anything love and hip hop has ever had. Mm -hmm. um, I was surprised that um, Andy actually brought up the rumors of the trafficking and the room 23. I was like, okay, that's good. But yeah. for I mean, don't I mean, we have to admit, Emmanuel, that Andy did a good job last night? We yeah, got to because yeah. she could have chosen not to bring it up, but I think yeah. it was good that he did. Um, th there's a thing though. Kyle has it out for Crystal. Did you notice that? Yes. Ka you there's so? something about Kyle. She keeps on picking on Crystal, and I don't know what it is. But let me tell you something. Crystal did defend Diana. She said it was a language barrier. She was like, "I was upset at her, but then oh, she I did. I forgot. That she didn't she did. understand. But yeah. she didn't so have cool. a language barrier when she threatened um Garcelle on the text, did she? <laughs> no, exactly. And you know what, Crystal? Crystal's so annoying. I hope she doesn't come back. She has nothing to offer. Her husband is yeah. just. And then you know what? I would. Why? Why did Sudden stay so quiet when they were talking about the situation? Like, what Crystal said about Sudden could have really hurt Sudden because she she said she said something really dark, only to later say, no, no, no. Well, what I meant was that the conversation. Was like, why didn't I, I was upset that Sudden didn't you know? kind of bring it up or step up and say something. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Sutton was letting them hang themselves. And I don't understand, like she said she's coming on the show to represent the Asian community. Um other than her making like dumplings and stuff, we've not seen anything about her culture. We really haven't. And I don't know anything about her other than like her mom flies in now and again and her brother um free loads on her just stays in the house AJ and that's it, but mess. she's not yeah but she's have wrong. you noticed like bling empire have you watched the show bling empire it's uh, yeah, like, uh -huh. okay, that now that is a show okay that is real money and asians <laughs> culture now that's something i would watch but she didn't bring any of that like not even the clothing she is so plain jane she needs to go away 
<laughs> All right, let me move on. Uh, Devante, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, um, sound off. What do you want to sound off on? Okay, before I say anything, I'm going to have y'all on the road. So if you're drinking something or you driving, please proceed with caution because this is going to be the dragon of everybody live. First Ooh. of all, I'm so sick of these tie-ass, cheap-ass $2 hookers. Brenna is really standing <laughs> up there with that big lip two dollar whole dress on, trying to sit over here acting like she holy. I'm so sick and tired of these heifers. <laughs> now look, Dorit really to set her ass up on that couch and said that the robbers left her phone by her entrance. What robbers do you know? <laughs> will literally have your cell phone at the front of your house so you can then call the police on yep. them. These must be some very amateur robbers or these are people that you just hired. Yeah. Next, I have a theory. Tired. I have a theory about that. What's your theory, tired. AJ? I, I think theory? that Teddy Mellencamp's uh, husband is behind this. What? It could be. I you know, be he's surprised. been the one, he's the one who did all the security for both their homes. You think and Teddy Mellencamp's uh, yeah. husband is has something to do with the robberies? I mean, look, her Italy. cult failed. I mean, he's they only got that business and she does a polka. Yeah, she would. I think they, the husband would. All right, all right. I'm know. sorry, Devontae. Go this ahead. Is twisted. I... You did say Hollywood is very, very strange. I mean, don't be surprised. <laughs> I mean, this could happen. I mean, all these things could. can happen. This is Hollywood. And why? I mean, Kyle, come on. Kyle, your robber is actually calling you. To let you to actually try. Okay, to wait, hold on. Let me let me let Devonte finish. Sorry, Devonte, go ahead. I'm, sorry. I'm glad he brought it up because now I'm finna say something about that hope. Look mm. here, you got robbed a couple years ago. The robbers just uh, got out of jail. Talking about if you give us some money, you give we give you your stuff back. What the hell? Who do oh, that? Hell I've no. never heard of any type of robbers will tell you to send me X amount of money in order to get your stuff back. Who the hell says that these two just sat up here looking dumb and cheap as hell? And next I want to talk about is Crystal. Yeah, she needs the clumsy war the words award because she kept saying, well, son kept saying something. So the hell for what did she say? We tired of you stringing us alone. Tell us. What did she say? Did she say that black people can't have seen it before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is funny. Because I'm, get, I'm getting tired of them just saying, oh, well, she said something. Well, honey, if you can't say what she said, please shut the hell up. Sit there, look cute, eat your food, be silent, just sit there, just be, be, just be noticeable. Then the next yeah, one I really want to. She does eat. I've seen her eat. Yeah. We she's hey, been on the show when they go for dinner, she eats. I hey, go ahead, Devante. Go ahead. But... Next, I want to talk about Garcelle and her poor babies. Now, look, I'm I'm getting sick and tired of how they just automatically went to that one and just yeah. did all type of horrible yeah. racially insensitive thing. And yes, I do believe it was that whole Diana because she over here. <laughs> I can't think of time. If you're going to be on a reality TV show, you cannot be sending people no season to sit. Your ass was the one who set up there, signed that contract, and you can't control what's going to come out. So you can't be sending no type of blog. Oh, wait, well, no hold on, Devontae. Let's clear it up. I don't know you, right? We don't. We never right? met. I did not right? tell you to talk about the season to sit, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, I'm just okay. in general. I'm just okay. talking in general because I just think it's very stupid that how you trying to hurt and clean clean up your image. Well, honey, your image is dirty as a back of the backseat alley. You can't control that. She should have had a handle on that before she even signed up for this show. We can't help because you used to be in the room with 23 for two dollars for five dollars an hour. Well, we can't help that. Yeah, and she's such a she goes around like the way that she met Elton John. She bought her way into everything, and because she donated a little bit of money to his AIDS foundation and did a little, she probably pays pay for that FaceTime too. You know when he was on the listen. She and he said, "All right." And she said on the show, "If yeah. you buy your way into things, like if you want to go to a club, you start tipping the waiters." She said that. Yeah, yeah. but um, can yeah. I say one thing about um Kyle though? Um, yeah. Kyle looked nice, I gotta admit it, but her 
her attitude and like how, what, what she says, like it makes it all like not even look nice because how dare she try to defend Diana? But I'm so glad that you saw how Garcelle turned around and said, "Are you fucking kidding me? Like you think I'm gonna have time to save all of you while I'm defending my kid?" That was what. What's wrong with Kyle? And then she went on watch ha- watch what happens live after. And somebody mm-hmm. told her, um, Kyle, after you've seen that Lisa Rinna was the one that leaked to the radar online, do you have a different perspective now of how LVP was treated when they um, accused her? And that would have been Kyle's opportunity to be what like, well, say? you know, no, she doubled down. She no. Was like, no, I don't oh think God. so. What a whip. No. Really? Yeah, she, don't, she doesn't want her to come on the show. I mean, if she does, then it won't longer be her show. I mean, let's That's face true. it. Yeah. She's All right, guys, listen, I have a long line, and, and I know a lot of people want to get in today. Anything else you guys yeah. want to say before we uh, change the panel? Um, can't wait for next week for Kathy. <laughs> well, I can't wait for Kathy. I yes. cannot wait. That is definitely the good one. Yeah. Yep. Yes. All right, guys, thank you so much All for right. calling in. All I appreciate right. it. Bye. 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 We have a long line uh, so early. Uh, hi, Shade. Can you hear me? Oh, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. Hey, Bree, can you hear me? Bree, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, Jennifer, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hey, Sin, can you hear me? Yes, Lord. Okay, let's start with you, Shade. Sound off. Shade, can you hear me? I don't think Shade has some problems. Shade with the side eye, can you hear me? I'll, I'll okay, so I think. Oh, go ahead, go yeah. ahead. Must be a delay. Go ahead. Might have, have to drop Might have to drop her. Is yeah, drop her. Try to bring her back up. Yeah, bring back. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna drop Yeah, there's down. a delay. Oh, there's a delay. Okay, go ahead and talk, and I won't interrupt. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you saying Jennifer? No, no, no. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> that delay's too long. Oh. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, so can you I'm gonna drop you so you can work on your sound. It's yeah. it's too much. Let me bring up someone else. Uh Jennifer, let's start with you. Okay. First of all, Garcelle's face when um, Rena was talking. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Not Rena. When Diana was talking about the bots Mm -hmm. and Garcelle was just staring like straight through her. She was was shooting darts at her. Mm -hmm. But secondly, also with Kyle and her purses and everything, if this man called her why didn't she send the police over there instead of giving him money? Duh. Yeah. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? Sorry, baby. I just had to go. <laughs> I mean, I, I totally agree. It made no sense. Kyle was lying through her teeth. And another thing that pissed me off was Crystal. She could not get what she was saying straight. First, she said what Sutton said was dark, right? Then mm-hmm. she said it made her feel dark mm-hmm. all these months later. She didn't know what she wanted to say. But she I was, was dark lying, but she couldn't get it together. She was just lying. I'll say yeah. this. When Crystal was saying that about Sutton, uh-huh. you have to remember that was on that trip where Lisa, Diana, and Erica were telling her to stand up for her, herself and do all this stuff. Now she's not hanging around with them, and she changed her her story. Yeah, mm. that's she, she yeah. knew they didn't like them her back then, and I think she was trying to please them to be a part of that group. And it didn't. Yeah, work. I feel like Crystal wants to fit in. Right, that's it. See, she already yeah. said when she was small, she she wished she was a white right. white person. <laughs> And yeah. she doesn't like anything about herself. She just said she didn't like the bot her body. Did you hear that? Like she has the worst self esteem on the show. I've never yeah. seen someone with such low self esteem. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. 
That's why she's not good for the show because she doesn't stand for anything with any integrity. So she's going to go wherever the wind blows. I mean, so, actually, I agree with you, but do you think she'll grow some courage if she came back another season? No, I think wow, what's going to happen? <laughs> no, she, what's going to happen is she's going to read Twitter, she's going to look at the comments, she's going to see where the viewers are putting their energy, and that's where she's going to go. I don't really believe that her friendship with Sutton is all that genuine. I think she found out Sutton was the fan favorite, so now she's aligning with Sutton. And that's next happened, season, yeah. she's probably going to align more with Sutton and Garcelle and whoever's coming in and be more distant from Erica and Kyle and maybe even Diana. Re really quickly, Ashley, why mm -hmm. did uh, Kyle tell that bold faced lie that the robbers called her? <laughs> I don't honestly, I don't, I, that's something I wouldn't admit if it was, if I were Kyle and that actually happened to me, that's something I would take to my grave because it's embarrassing. Like it's how embarrassing. are you like, it, it makes no sense. Like, why would they try to sell you stuff that was already yours and then you actually pay them for it? And where did, did they, they show? Put, did they show they Andy's number? face? Did they show Andy's face when no. she told this lie? They showed Garcelle. Garcelle kind of looked to the side with a little <laughs> smirk, like, what? Like, bitch, please. <laughs> right. And where did they uh, get a number? Where did I get her phone number? <laughs> I don't. I, this is just a bold faced lie. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tweet about it tonight. I don't have to send a tweet to her. Like Kyle, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Uh, now I've got send, to send Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> okay. So what stood out to you the most last night? Ooh, the most is the look on Rena's face every time Garcelle said something. I mean, Rena looks like the Joker. I'm sorry, the Joker from Batman. And that damn Diana, she sit there and said that she was a refugee and she didn't know them. And that was back in 97. OK, help, you was a refugee and that's what they get refugees to be sex slaves. Ooh. Duh. Ooh. You know? That wasn't me. That wasn't me, Diana. That wasn't me. It was me seeing. <laughs> but if so you think about it, she was taking pictures with uh, that shoe. Allegedly, she probably was Trump's number one, you know, pick all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Are we all on the same page? Does anybody believe that Diana was not a madam? No. <laughs> I mean, what did she, she was do? a madam? I'm just I'm just asking the the consensus. Does anybody believe that uh, Kyle's Roberts called her and? Asked she needs to stop. She, yeah, they called her. Teddy called and told her that her grandmother had a step in her attic. Does anybody believe that the core essential people that uh, stalked Garcelle's son is Lisa, Renna, mm -hmm. Erica, Diana? And Diana. That's yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And Diana that paid for it because she's the only one that's got the money. The yeah, only and that's why they, that's why her name was mentioned. <laughs> the only people though that the bots defended were Rena, Diana, and Erica. They didn't mm -hmm. say leave Kyle alone, leave so and so alone. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Or they could have just not said leave anybody alone. They could have right. just said what they said, but they put her name in there for a reason. But, but let me ask you this before I wrap it up. And I'm gonna go down the line. I'll start with you. Perry, who needs to be fired? I think Diana, Crystal, and Rena. V, who needs to be fired? Rena, Diana, uh, I, I would say Kyle for t being stupid, but she, we need stupid on there for a little longer. Uh, uh, Erica. You think Erica needs to be fired? Yeah. Uh, Ashley, who, uh, who needs to be fired? Um, Diana, Rena, and and Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> mm -hmm. She just because she doesn't she doesn't have any of her own opinions. If she, she if she stood brain. by her own stuff and what she said, and if you know she at least was you know. You want to fire her points. for having low self esteem? No, but yes. she doesn't have like if you have low self esteem, that's one thing. But then just say that. Don't try to like backtrack and um, you know try to win over the public's opinions of you that I it's like I can't watch that because it's not even watching a person anymore it's just watching a character she creates yeah sin who needs to be fired 
Uh, Brenna, mm -hmm. Diana, mm -hmm. and Andy Cohen. Oh, oh, please. That's <laughs> never going to happen. That's never going to happen. This is show. <laughs> okay, uh, Rena, I think Rena, uh and Diana, and I'm going to say Dorit because I'm sick of her. She's been on there that long and she ain't never had a storyline. All right, uh, Jennifer, who needs to be fired? Rena, Erica, and Diana. But I will say you're, how you're talking about Crystal not having the storyline. People were on Twitter last night saying Garcelle doesn't have a storyline. Nobody knows anything about her except she's an actress. Oh, that, and, that, that's, that's bots. I mean, I no. That's Diana's fault. But that's what was Diana's crazy family. is if that were the case, <laughs> none of them have a real big storyline. Yeah. yeah. It's just that they're rich. <laughs> Um, let me read yeah. this really quick. I want to know what Dorit Kyle been smoking about burglars. Exactly. <laughs> They're just, listen, they, oh. Beverly Hills is like a bubble and they oh. believe their own lies. And for yes. some reason, they thought that this robbery was going to make sense to the public. Yeah. Um, you guys, I'm out of time. Wait, um, Rochelle, Rochelle, I got to say one thing. Hey, B, uh, did y'all see when they played the review back from the robbery, how slow those guys were walking? Like, <laughs> they, were, like they were taking a walk in the park? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they I were like they knew where they were going. Slow. I ain't never <laughs> seen no robbers walk slow. Yeah, yeah but most well, people do when you show you guys, up for I, work I'm on early. A time. I got to wrap it up, Perry, because okay. we got to go. Yeah. Uh, thank you going. guys so much for calling in. I appreciate the call. Good to see you, V. Yes, nice. you look beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, so sweet. They're so sweet. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, Ruth, hang back. Okay, she hung up. Um, last night was good. Andy Cohen finally did his job. For yeah. what reason? I don't know. He just, uh, Kyle ma making up these stories. It was good. I can't wait to see part two and part three. What are your last words, V? I'm, I'm anxious to see part two because I, I want to see who's going to get loose next week. Perry? I'm waiting to see Kathy. All right. Uh, you guys, please don't forget to, me too, to click that like button on your way out. Last night was Pretty good. Everyone has, is the same consensus. Andy finally stepped up to the plate and asked the hard questions. Uh, if I didn't get to your call backstage, I do apologize. I'm simply out of time. Roof, don't hang up. I want to talk to you. I want to thank everyone for your super chats. You don't have to support the channel, and you do. So I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Let's meet back next week at the same time. On three, guys, let's say bye. One, two, three. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.